Explore, explore, we're all about it. Explore, 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 explore. God's word, don't doubt it. Explore, explore. We've got the Bible beat, so get on your feet. It's time to sing and praise. God's word is true, Jesus is there for you. It's time to sing and praise. Explore, explore, we're all about it. Explore, explore. Explore, explore, God's word, don't doubt it, explore, explore. The more we go, the more we grow, it's time to sing and praise. Jesus and you and your friends too, it's time to sing, it's time to sing and praise. Hey guys, welcome back. Wow, look at this workshop. There are so many interesting things here, so many gadgets and tools, but I'm not going to touch them because I don't want to break them. I don't know how to use them. Okay, so before we get into anything, what do we have first? Do you know what we usually have first? It's worship. So get up on your feet, shake about a bit. Are you ready? Let's go. worship team that was awesome I love that all right so first we're gonna pray and then we're gonna go straight into our story thank you Lord for this wonderful time that you've given us please teach us what you want us to learn and open our minds and our ears and help us concentrate thank you amen next we have our story let's go Okay, so 
Can you guys guess what we're going to be learning about today? We're going to be learning about chores, work, and school. We're going to learn how God sees those things. Now, they don't sound like fun things to do, especially chores. Now, as a kid, I never liked doing chores. It always got in the way of me going to play outside or watching TV or playing computer games. It just got in the way of that. And as there was one chore I did not like at all. Now, as a kid, I had to walk down a hill every morning and every afternoon, and I had to go feed a baby cow. Now, I did not like doing that at all. Um, reason being is because I was lazy as a kid. So, what chores do you have that you don't like doing? Okay, so before we go into our, our story and meet our storyteller, what did we learn about last couple lessons? Can you tell me? Okay, so last time we learned about how God sees others. God sees others as his children and he loves them. Even if they don't believe in him, God still wants us to show them love because he still loves them. All right, next we have our storyteller. Let's take it away. Whew! My goodness, guys. It's finally break time after that epic work in this incredible workshop. My goodness, I'm exhausted. But wow, it was great. Oh, hello everyone. How are you doing? Oh, uh, that's course. It is time for story time. But first guys, let's open the good book of the Lord, the Bible, to see what, what story we're going to challenge and read and learn from today. Are you ready? Because sure I'm ready, but we have to be quick because it's my break time and afterwards I have to go back to work. All right, let's get the good book out, eh? Wrong phone. Right phone. Let's go for it, man. Okay, it's right here. It is in Genesis 1, 26 to 30, and Genesis 2, 15 to 23. Now guys, this, of course, hopefully, we all know the story. This is a story of how God created everything and you and me. So as we know, God, you know, created the sun, the moon, the stars, everything, and he said it was good. But then he created you and me. He created people in his image. He created mankind. And he said it was very, very good. And he walked with mankind in the Garden of Eden, as you guys know, and as I know, hopefully. But you see, God didn't just walk with them. He told them to work. He gave them jobs to do to work in the Garden of Eden amongst his creation. He said, the creation, the plants, the, the, the earth is yours. Now work for it. Take care of it. Look after it. He even gave Adam a helper, Eve. So Adam and Eve together can work for God together in his creation. He even told Adam and Eve to name all the animals and to look after them, to take care of them. You see, guys, God made us and he loves us, but he made us to work for him. Work for the things that he loves and he cares about. So yeah, you know, our chores, our schoolwork, helping mom and dad, helping dad in the field or, or cutting the grass, whatever it might be, work is a good thing. And work comes from God. I know sometimes it's like it's really hard to work, exhausting. Trust me, I know. And you know, and sometimes it might be boring. But here's the secret to work. If we get to work it, for God and realize this work is from God and for God. It becomes so much, much better and joy and, and, and incredible because we know we are made from God to work for God. So guys, next time you're doing your homework, next time you're having mom's dishes or whatever you guys are doing, remember that God made us to work for Him. And when we work for Him, it becomes so much more amazing so when you do those dishes or do that homework or help your dad in the garden, remember, I'm doing this for God. And when you do that, guys, I know you have a great time. So yeah, um, in my situation, in fact, I have to go back to work. Dang, that pipe's leaking again. Oh well. But you see, I'm going to do it for God 
Therefore, it's going to be incredible. See you guys later. Wow, that story changes so many things. I always thought that, go that chores and work were actually punishments. But in reality, God actually gave Adam chores, work, and he even started teaching Adam stuff before sin came into the world. So, work, doing our work and chores actually makes God happy. So next time I do my chores, and that's probably going to be washing the dishes, or sweeping the floor, or making my bed, I'm not going to complain, because I know that doing my chores well makes God happy. Next we have a craft, so don't go anywhere, and I hope you come show me what you did Hi there kiddies, I hope you guys are doing well today and have had an awesome Sunday. Um, today we're going to be doing a craft that I think you guys will really enjoy um, and I hope you guys all listen carefully. The craft is specifically about chores and yes, chores does make God happy because you are obeying your parents. Alright guys and girls, let's see what we are going to need to do this awesome awesome project first of all we're going to need some glue you're going to need a scissors all right make sure that if you don't know how to use scissors ask your mom and dad please or granny and grandpa and then you're going to need some colors and i was very lucky enough to get myself a black pencil crown which i'm going to use now all right guys you're going to get two pieces of paper like this one is going to say when we do our chores, it makes God happy. Then you're going to get a frame. All right. What you guys are going to do is you're going to cut out the frame first. I shall demonstrate. Alright guys, just like that, you got your two little pieces of your frame. Alright, so it's basically going to go like this. Okay, then you're going to take your frame and stick it to the piece of paper. Alrighty then. Alright guys, just like that. And then what you want to do is you want to cut around that just to make it neater, all right? All right, guys, now what I want you to do is I want you to draw any chore you like. Um, I know I don't really like chores, but mopping is mopping's gonna be the one for me. Okay, so let's see what colors I want to use. Let's see some uh, black for the bucket, blue for the water, a little bit of yellow, and brown for the handle. Okay, let's see how well I can draw. All right, guys, that's the chore I chose. I want to see what you guys can do. Bye for now, guys. All right, guys, so I've got some questions just to make sure that you listen very well. All right, question number one. So from the story, what does God want us to do, you know? From the story of the beginning of Adam and Eve, what did, what does he want us to do for him and what were we made to do? That's the first question. The second question is also this, is that 
um, I don't all the work you do at home, like your chores or your homework, what's one thing there that you can think of that you do at home, whether it's your chores or any kind of work that you do at home with your parents or at school, what's that one thing? The third question is this, guys. Okay, from the story, we learned many, many things. The question for you guys now is, what are you going to do when you get home? How are you going to help your parents? How are you guys going to work for the Lord and work for your friends in every way? And guys, that's my question and that's it. But guys, before you go, I want to remind you one careful thing. You see, see, God also worked, as we know, He made all the beautiful things we see around in six days. But on the seventh day, He also rested. So guys, work hard is good, but God also wants us to rest. Remember that. Ciao for now. Well, guys, I hope you enjoyed today. I definitely did. And I hope to see you all safe back here next time. Bye.